Two men are dead and two others are hurt in a pair of separate shootings in Jacksonville. Police are trying to figure out who is responsible for one of the shootings. We've learned police arrested this man, 22-year-old Jalen Lebroy, in connection to a deadly shooting on Park Street. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar has details on the two shootings. Bullet holes and the flashing lights of crime scene unit vans among the evidence of this deadly shooting on Phillips Highway. Police say three men were shot and found along this street between Bowdendale and Step Avenues around 2.45 Sunday morning. Sergeant Carly Reed says one man was killed at the scene. The two others were taken to a hospital and expected to survive. And during that shooting, several cars that were parked along Phillips Highway were hit by gunfire, including that white car we're showing you across the street. You see there are at least two bullet holes in the driver's side door. Police don't know why the men were shot and how many shooters they need to look for. Investigators are speaking with several witnesses, including the surviving victims. But less than six miles away in the Riverside neighborhood, there was a separate deadly shooting. A man was shot and killed on this part of Park Street late Saturday night. News 4 Jack spoke with a woman who asked not to be identified. She says she was in this area between 11 o'clock and 1130 Saturday night trying to buy food when she was cleared away from this scene along with other big crowds of people. Um, it's, it's just disheartening. I'm tired of losing people to senseless acts of gun violence. It has definitely become a nuisance in Jacksonville. Um, and I just wish things would change. Sergeant Reed says another man who police believe is the shooter is in custody and was questioned by police. The motive is unknown. The woman we spoke with lost her brother to gun violence in 2020. It hit home a lot um, to think about losing him as a brother to put into the nuisance that's affected our community. Um, and it just continues to happen. And she says she is tired of it. Reporting, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, the local station. Tomorrow, local faith leaders in Jacksonville will come together to talk about ways to stop gun violence in the city. The I Care 2023 Community Problems Meeting is being held at the Christ the King Catholic Church located on Arlington Road North in the Woodland Acres neighborhood. That meeting starts at 7 p.m.